You're living as a degenerate. If you're living with decadence and you're being a prideful sinner, well then God's gonna be like, damn, you're not good enough. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, how do I overcome thoughts of not being enough? The feeling of feeling inferior to others. So I don't think you need to get over thoughts of not being enough. I think what needs to happen for most of us is to overcome our thoughts. It's not the particular thought, it's thoughts themselves. Because it could be just as degenerate, it could be just as bad for your life to think that you're too much, that you're great, that you're amazing. You know, the first sin was pride, right? You're the opposite of it. And there's, certain, there's a certain level of narcissism to thinking that you're not good enough. It almost is like two sides of the same coin. Pride in, I'm the best. I feel superior to other people, right? That could be a problem too. But right on the, it's funny because right on the flip side of that same coin is I'm not good enough. I feel inferior to others. Both of them are extreme perversions of thought. One is not better than the other. It's the same goddamn coin. I am not good enough. I am amazing. Both of them, they're both, they're both forms of extreme narcissism. When I say narcissism, is I mean self-focus. I'm not good enough. I'm depressed. I'm ugly. I'm not good enough, right? That's thinking too much about yourself. You got to get over yourself. Depressed people need to get over themselves. They're just as narcissistic as a as a as someone who's grandiose and self-aggrandizing. I'm amazing, I'm the best. They're both just as bad. And like I said, they come from the same sentiment, which is over concern with myself. So it's not the thought, it's not the content of the thought, it's the thought itself. You're thinking too much about yourself. Get over yourself, right? And allow yourself to be. That's the essence of this program, is to stop the thinking, stop the feeling, stop the incessant doing, and allowing yourself to be. You'll figure this out because I know you're new in this program, but you're going to figure out as we go along that all of our pain, all of our ills, all of our mistakes, all of our problems come from those three places. Neurotic thoughts, unresourceful feelings, and unhelpful activity. Neurotic activity, right? So all three of those things will, over time and through this program, begin to subordinate themselves to you allowing yourself to be. That means no judgment of thought, because you're thinking, you're thinking, oh, I'm not good enough. Well, who says that you get that? Who gives you the gavel and the gown to be the judge of that? Who say you're not good enough? Did God say you're not good enough? Because only God matters, right? If you're living, if you're living in debauchery, right? You're living as a degenerate. If you're living with decadence and you're being a prideful sinner, well, then God's going to be like, damn, you're not good enough, right? When we're talking about wood made for the fire before, he's going to look at you and be like, look at this guy. He's not good enough, right? But that's God judging, right? And we know the standard by which he wants us to live with, and that is perfection to be saints, right? Your feelings of being inferior, right? You, the feeling of feeling inferior, right? So your thoughts are getting the best of you. I'm thinking I'm not too much. And then what happens? The battlefield for the, field for the soul is in the brain. It goes into your feeling body. It goes into your heart. Oh, I feel inferior. So now you got perverted thoughts and you got perverted feelings all centered around being too focused on yourself. Get over it move past it, and when you recognize that these demons are coming to haunt you, you ignore it completely. Thoughts are like door knockers, right? I've, I've used this example before, right? If there's somebody coming knocking at your door and you don't want to see them, you don't want to hear from them, you don't want what they're selling, and they're knocking at your door, what do you do? Don't open the door. He's going to try to sell me some stuff that I don't want to buy. He's selling like lawn treatment or windows, or maybe they're trying to sell you their God. You know, have you been saved by the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And you open the door and you're like, oh man, I didn't want to talk to this guy right now. What do you do? You don't open the door to that guy, right? You know how to turn, even when it comes to like, you know you do this because look at social media. You unsubscribe from shit you don't want to hear. 
and you subscribe to things you do want to hear. Why are you subscribing to these thoughts? You can unsubscribe anytime. Unsubscribe from those thoughts. And the minute you unsubscribe from those thoughts, the feelings will follow. Right? This is why I don't care when people talk about their feelings, because they make their feelings. You choosing to feel that by entertaining those thoughts. If you're watching a horror movie and you feel afraid and you feel scared and you have anxiety in your body, that's because you bought a ticket to that movie and you're sitting in there watching that show. That's what you signed up for, bro. So when you're feeling inferior, it's because you signed up or you subscribe to those thoughts of not being enough. Stop it. Stop it. It's silly. You're doing it to yourself. Unsubscribe from that thought. Don't open that door. Let that guy keep walking and allow yourself to be. It's all your fault. You're losing the battlefield for your soul because you're not controlling your mind. You're not being objective about those thoughts. Those thoughts might not even belong to you. They could be a byproduct of PTSD. Remember we talked about that earlier? Trauma, shit that happened when you were a kid. Bro, you know how many things happened to me when I was a kid that made me feel like I was not good enough? I remember, I remember going to these kids' house when I, like, they were neighbors or they lived around the block. And these kids were so mean to me, bro. They were a little bit older. They were so mean to me. They were calling me ugly and they wouldn't let me play with them and shit. And I could allow that. And maybe I did even allow it to creep up into my life later on. But then the fact is that that shit is old. That has nothing to do with now, right? It has nothing to do with now. What your mama said to you, what your daddy said to you, what your school teacher did to you, none of that shit matters right now. What matters right now is that you're losing the battle for your soul because you're letting your mind sway, be swayed by these thoughts, by old shit that happened, maybe something you saw. We were even traumatized by TV. TV and movies, don't believe me, when I was talking about the uh, horror movies and shit, media traumatizes you. Social media traumatizes you. I know I was traumatized by social media. I, not even social media. I was traumatized by MTV when I was, when I was a teenager. Finally got cable. My dad was like, no cable for you. Finally got cable when I could pay for it. And I was like, dad, I'm going to get my own cable. And I started watching MTV. I got traumatized by watching MTV shows. You know how I got traumatized? Because I thought I was supposed to be with these hoes like, uh, like Britney Spears back in the day. Like she was very hot, right? She was the thing. And I would, I would allow myself to be traumatized because she would be running around in my mind all day. Why don't I have a girl like Britney Spears? That's how freaking dumb I was. I was letting myself be traumatized. I was letting my thoughts get the best of me. And then I was feeling inferior because I'm like, how do I find a girl like that? A girl like that would never want me. That's dumb. That's allowing yourself to be traumatized by the culture. Ignore those thoughts. Right? So he says, how do I overcome the thoughts of not being enough? I like that word overcome. Just overstep it. Overstep. Just step over it. Here's that thought. Just like a pile of shit. Huh? I want to step right over it. And you keep going, bro, and you'll be all right, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week, and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.